Hello and welcome back to Veneer Creations Tutorials. This week we're making this stunning two hooped crystal chipped sun catcher. The DIY kit will be linked below if you want to purchase that or you can purchase your own supplies which will be listed here. I hope you enjoy this tutorial and other than that let's get into it. First you need to get your larger hoop which is your four inch hoop and get one of your one meter wires this is a 24 gauge wire um, and you'll get if you get the kit you'll get two lots of one meter reels um, and just cut that in half so it'll be about 50 centimeters it's very thin wire 24 gauge and then we're going to start wrapping it around the hoop so I've got my four inch hoop here and then I'm just gonna pop it around like that like you can see really easy to bend this wire and then wrap 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 As you can see I just wrap that really neatly. I've wrapped that about four times. I think I'm just gonna do it about four. So I'm gonna whoop, can you see? I'm gonna wrap again. So that is nice and secure on that hoop. All you're doing there is just securing it onto your hoop. Now I'm gonna get one of my gold beads. Pop it in the wire, through the wire, and down the wire, and then I'm going to wrap. So the way that the wire's already going, you're going to wrap around, but you're going to leave the bead there. So the bead is there, so it kind of sits there, keep it in that position there with your finger, and then wrap around, and then wrap around again. And then that should be secured there. Next I'm going to get a clear bead. Just one clear bead. Put that through the wire. Hold it in position with this finger here. And then wrap around the hoop. And then wrap around twice. So can you see I've got like two, it's hard to see because it's so, it needs to focus there. Two wraparounds each time. Then I want to get the chip that I've chosen, which I've chosen amethyst. Put that through. Round we go once and twice, then another clear, hold it with my finger there so it doesn't move, so if, you, if you don't kind of hold it with your finger it, it might move but I just kind of hold my finger there, round, once and twice, and then I'm going to carry on doing that. I'll just show you one more time, so I want to carry on doing this pattern all the way along. I'm going to show you another gold here just to make sure you know, put it through the wire, hold it in place. And then wrap round once, twice, and then carry on. So it'll be like that pattern, carry on, keep doing that pattern. I'll show you at the end how, how I've done it and then you can see for yourself. Thank you. 
Then when you've come to the end, you're going to just wrap this on. So one, two, three, four, five. So you've just wrapped that around to secure it. Then you can either use scissors. Scissors will work fine. I've got pliers, jewellery pliers, so just cut off that excess way you've got there. And then just bend that down with your finger. Or if you've got these kind of jewellery pliers again, you can use them. Now we are going to use the other 50 centimetre wire and we're going to wrap that again. So just securing it on. One, two, three, I'm just going to make sure it's all together so it's nice and neat. And then we're going to start the rest of the pattern. So you've, you've done this part and you're just doing the exact same pattern on this part. So as you can see, it's like a gold clear amethyst clear gold and then it kind of carries on. Oh. So as you can see, it's like gold clear amethyst clear gold and then it carries on that pattern all the way along until you end it and then you start again here so we've done that one two three times and then we start again here so you're going to start again now with a clear because you've already got your gold so start with your clear you don't want the pattern to change all this is is just oh all this is is just the start and end of the wire. It's not part of the actual uh, design. But you'll see, you can't even see it when, um, when you've finished it. And then just go again like you did before, round by holding it in place and go round twice. Then get your amethyst. Amethyst. Round again. And just keep going. So, you've done the pattern right to there now, wrapping it all around. So you should have one, two, three, four, five, six crystal chips in there using that pattern. So you have three with the first wire and three with the second wire that you've used. Just have a look at that pattern. So you, you go into here first and then you do... The, practically the same again but you're just missing that first gold bead so you're doing the pattern three times with each wire and then wrap around again like you did at the end of the last one about four or five times and cut you can use scissors you don't need to use jewelry pliers or jewellery cutters, whatever you want to call them. And then you have your first hoop. Put that to one side and you can start your second one. So again, take your metre of wire. And you're going to cut it. 
in half. They are the worst jewellery cutters ever. <laughs> I've got another pair somewhere, which is much better. And then just do the same thing as you did before. Fixing it onto your hoop by wrapping it on. And it's going to be the same pattern. So start with your gold. Wrap. Then you clear. Then your crystal chip. And then when you've done it three times, just like you did on the larger one, so you see I've got three amethysts in there, I'm doing that pattern three times. And then I'm going to wrap it on like we did before. Four or five times. Cut off the excess wire. And then get your next bit of wire. Wrap that on to secure it. And then again, the clear. So this time, because you've only, this is the smaller hoop, you're only going to do the pattern twice. So for, in total you'll have five crystals. So you've done the pattern five times on this one, whereas the larger one, you've done it six times. Then you're going to wrap again. One, two, 
three, four, five, and I'm going to cut that off the excess wire. And there are your two hoops with your crystals on now. So next you're just going to put that to one side and we're going to make our little in-between chain using our moon charm, our little, I think the octagon, are they octagon or hexagon, I can never remember, um, little prism shapes which will be in your kit if you've got them. Um, and then I'll, I'll just bring all these along here. So first get your little prism your little hexagon, I think it's it. And pop your jump loop. You're just going to open it up like out of your fingers and pop it through the, the little um, hole there. And you're going to do that on both sides. You double jump loop, open. You can use normal jump loops if you're doing this yourself. I just find that these they never, it never comes off. Once it's on, it's on. And then I'm going to put it through the next one. And through the top of there. Then I'm going to fix it to my moon shape. I'm going to fix it to the bottom hole there, my little charm that I've got. And then I'm going to get another double jump loop and put it through the top. So there is your chain. Next, I'm going to get another one of these and I'm going to add it to my hoop. So you just literally open up and put it round like that. And then you're going to put it right over all these so it kind of sits at the bottom there. Then I'm going to do the same with this one but I'm going to leave it at the top so I'm going to leave the jump loop at the top there so can you see there's one at the bottom and one at the top then I'm going to add this jump loop at the bottom of this one to the top of this one on the moon so this one open it up and add it to that one. So that middle chain that you've just made with your charm and your pris hexagon prisms or octagon prisms, whatever they are, <laughs> already starting to look stunning. And now you're going to add the bottom one here to the top of here. So as you can see, this is now starting to look like the sun catcher in the beginning of the video. Now I'm going to get another jump loop. Now this bit can be quite difficult, but basically what you're going to do is open it enough so you can get it through the loop of your in there so I have like forced that through there we go <laughs> it can be quite difficult to do but if you are struggling there will be a bit of extra wire that you can use instead um, but I always use the jump loop it will go in eventually you just need to keep maneuvering it onto the prism now get a prism, not a prism, now get a jump loop and put it on the top of your sun catcher. There, on top of the top hoop. 
and you're going to cut five links off this chain. So this is the chain you're going to use to put on the top of it, but before we do that, like this is going to be kind of like your handle on it. What Before we do that, we're going to get five chains and cut them off. So do you just count? One, two, three, four, five, and then cut on the six on the sixth chain and do that twice. So you should have five chains there or links. Do that twice. Then get one of your five links and you're going to add it to your large prism. Just twist it onto it, so it, it is on like that. And then add it to this top jump loop here. Then get your smaller prism, round prism. Get a double jump loop, pop that through the hole, a lot easier for the small ones. The, the larger ones can be harder, but it's a lot easier for the small ones. Then get another one of your, because remember I said to cut two. Five chains again, five links, and pop it onto that, so it's secure. And then Add it to the bottom. So this jump loop here that's on the top, you're going to add the top chain, the top link on this, to that. There we go. Then get the rest of your chain that's left and add it to the very top jump loop that's got your other chain linking your prism. Add it to that. Get another jump loop. Are you trying to shock the jumper? And add it to that. Alexa stop! Then add that jump loop to, oh god it's got stuck, <laughs> either to there or you can, when you add it to probably your curtain pole or wherever it is you're going to put it in your home, you can make a little loop so how you do that is get your top jump loop and then however big you want your loop to be, add the jump loop to the chain so it kind of goes like that and joins. So can you see now I've got a bit of a, a loop if I wanted to hang it on something? Or you, you could just hang it directly from the jump loop if you wanted to but it's just a little trick that I use. That is your finished sun catcher. I'll just show you it um, working. <laughs>